my friend my friend yes that's me please sit down thank you how are things with you i'm fine where are you coming from like this rachel i'm coming from my house i thought i should come around and say hello to you that's so thoughtful of you thank you so much did you see the news about that lady from her class yes i did how did she get her money so fast like that what i'm surprised about is how she just died like that what were you expecting have you forgotten how she had different men when we were in school i'm very sure till now they are the ones funding her expensive lifestyle only god knows what one of them would have done to her look at her now rich and beautiful but she's no more he's not a good god if he was he wouldn't take my parents from me he wouldn't make me cry god is good my dear <laughs> Stop crying. I'm your family and I'll make sure that no one comes to you. Thank you, sir. Okay, look, my family will be like yours and I will take good care of you, okay? I will go back outside now. I want to take care of something. Stop crying and stop saying it was to God, okay? Kate, my dear. Yes, mom. The Lord is with you. All you just have to do is to stay strong, okay? I will stay strong, mom. I will try my best too. That's all that you need right now. And please, stop crying. God knows best. And he alone knows why all of this is happening. I wish they were here with me. Don't worry. They are in a better place right now. And they are watching from above. Babe, you are not saying anything. What would you love me to say? I don't have anything. That is not what I'm talking about now. I know you don't have. If you had, I would know. I'm sorry, what are you trying to say? This hardship, we need to find a way out. Do you think all this while I've just been sitting down here doing nothing? What do you think? Babe, what you are doing is not enough for us. Look, we are not okay. What are you proposing we go and do? Do you want us to go and steal? No, I am not saying that. I am just saying... Then what do you want us to do, huh? What, babe? That is why I don't like talking to you about this topic. It looks like we are fighting. You just get angry unnecessarily. I'm not angry. I'm talking to you calmly. I just want us out of this hard life. A good life. Also, we can't keep doing this all over again. If we don't act now, when do you think we can act again? Okay, love. Let's both think of a strategy that will get us out of here. But don't forget, all the strategies will require money. Let's just do something because I don't want to stay poor. Those that are driving cars and doing other good things don't have two heads. So why should we be different? I was scrolling through and I saw this clothes. It's very expensive and also one of the clothes they are using now. Maybe or uh, the clothes I saw the ordered in the market just if you have it. The other of the clothes went from hundred to one fifty thousand. It was the same clothes that a celebrity lady used for her birthday. Yes, it's true. When I was in the market, I kept telling myself that I had seen this clothes somewhere before. I could just picture where. We should buy something like that, my friend. It would be very good on us. Yes. What color do you think we should go for? Pink. Pink is not bad, but it will be somehow. White. See, I don't even know. Let's just pick one color. Let's go for black. The black of it is more beautiful. You and black. I was just waiting for you to suggest it. We all know that's your favorite color. Look at you. I've been suggesting other colors. You're turning them down. <laughs> I don't know which color, but let's call Emily. I'm sure she will tell us the best color to go for. Just go for black. It will be very nice on all of us. If she agrees or she might say no, like me. Call her so we can get the clothes and use it for our next hangout. Yes, and then we post the picture. Babe, everything will be fine. You don't have to worry. You will drive big cars one day. Okay. Babe, I am sorry. It's my friend's call. Let me pick it up. It's okay. Take your time. Baby girl. Where are you right now? I'm with my baby. I can hear Rachel's voice in the background. She's at my place. We're talking about this latest clothes. Oh, true. I saw it online too. That celebrity wore it and it looks so good on her. That's what I said, but Sarah suggested we go for black. Any color is okay. If not black, then white. Remember, the celebrity used black, so if we get black, people will not notice that we copied it. That's true, so are you buying the clothes? Why would you ask me that? You should have bought the clothes and just brought it to me. Of course, I am buying. How many years are you getting? Like three years. I saw this style. I love so much. Okay then, send your money and the sewing money today. I want a very good designer to sew the clothes for us. Um, okay, I will. Take care. I love you.
I feel so much for Kate. Losing parents at this age is not easy. Yes, she's not. She has been crying all day. Yes, I tried talking to her, but she's still crying, and one can't blame her. The reality of knowing you won't see the person you've always seen before anymore is hard. That's true, my love, but she needs us now more than ever. We tried our best. We are here for her. Honey, I was thinking we should take her in. Why would you want to do that? Just like you said, she's still young. Look at her. We can't send her out now. She needs family around her. So you are now using my words against me? Because I said she's young does not mean I want to take her in as my child. Just think about it, babe. She needs us. No, she doesn't. Take her to an orphanage home. She will do better there than here. We don't need to do that. We have a very big room here. I said no. I don't want that in my house or anywhere around. Honey, look at the good side of this. Baby, why are you angry? Did I say anything wrong? Wow, so you don't know what you did wrong, Emily. No, I was only talking to my friend and they said it was okay to pick their call. You just finished saying that we should end the hardship in our life and you are busy talking about clothes. Um, it's just clothes. You don't expect me to tell my friends that I don't have money to buy the clothes. If you keep living like this, how do you expect that we'll be fine? We are not living fine. It's just that I have to buy these clothes. If not, they will all think I don't have money. The question is, do you have the money? Emily, we are barely managing. Look, we don't even have food in the house. See, forget all that. I can't allow my friends to think I am poor and married to a poor guy. That is why I'm saying we need to do something better for ourselves. And if you keep buying expensive clothes, shoes and going to exclusive places, how will you be able to save money? You are one of the reasons that affects us, but you are free to do what you like, Emily. They are your friends. You don't have to be angry, love and live just like that. Daddy and mommy, this was not the promise you made to me. You were not supposed to leave me at this time. No, you were not supposed to. I'm now at uncle's house. He's trying his best for me, but it's not my home. My home should be with you. Instead, you left, not thinking of how our money will become of me. This place feels so strange. Why did God allow this evil to happen to me? Why didn't it happen to another? Why did it have to be me? Everyone is happy, but I'm not happy. I miss you both. I wish you were here with me. That was all I pray for. God, please forgive me and just bring them back home to me. Can such a miracle even happen now? Can they come back to life? I'm just stressing myself. I wish they were still here with me. I would be fine, but they are not. Man, how are you now? Guy, I'm not fine at all. Things are not good. Things will get better, man. Just keep hustling. Everything will fall into place. Guy, this wedding I did cost a lot. I now wish I had not married yet. Look, it's hard. Things are still difficult for me right now. Here, yeah, ask them to give you some drinks so you can relax and stop thinking too much. Everything is tough because of the economy. If I had known, I wouldn't have spent that kind of money. Now, I'm complaining because I'm not happy about the wedding I did. Just be calm. Everything will be fine. And don't go saying this kind of thing in front of your wife, okay? I didn't. I'm just telling you because I haven't recovered and I need to recover fast. You'll be fine. Everything will be fine. So stop thinking about it. See, thinking about it won't change a thing. The only thing now is money should come and all this complaint will end. Money should come, man. I want to stop complaining. I'm very tired of it. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Morning, Kate. How was your night? It was okay, sir. I tried my best to sleep. That's a good thing. Like I said, crying changes nothing. All you have to do is accept what has happened and move on with life. Yes, ma'am. I know that. I know they are fine where they are right now. I'm glad you understand. Life events happen for a reason. Some teachers' lessons and some people for what's ahead. Okay, sir. But that's not the reason we are here this morning. We are here that this is your new home. You are going to be staying with us. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Auntie, for accepting me to stay with you. No need to thank us. Just make sure you listen to your auntie very well. I don't want her to make any complaint about you. Yes, sir. Darling, I know she will listen to us and won't cause any issues. Don't worry. Yes, sir. I won't cause any issues. I will be a very good girl. All that has been said, we will leave you now. Come out once you are done, okay? Slept off and King did not come back home. So he had the mind to sleep outside and he did not call me. 
what did i say wrong he just got angry and left the house like that and that is not enough he did not come back home He's not picking my calls. I am very sure he saw the call. He's just refusing to pick up. I will not take it easy with him. I only told him we should do something better for ourselves. Since we got married, things have been hard. But this doesn't mean he should not call or come back home. I just hope he is fine and doing okay. This one is not picking up. Where did he sleep? What is he doing? It's too early in the morning. I won't allow anyone to get me angry. Not even my husband. But he's sure you have given a very good reason for not coming home last night. Good morning, my love. Babe, how are you? Hope you slept well. Why wouldn't I sleep well when I have you by my side? I had the best night ever. Look at your mouth. Let me go and dress for work. Baby, I need something. What is it that you need, love? I need money. Money? Money. Babe, you know I don't like the sound of that word. Baby, you have to love the sound and forget about the sound. Just give me the money. Babe, look, currently, I don't have any money to give you. Then find the money and give it to me. I need it. Find money? Where do you want me to get it from? You know, if I had, I would give it to you. But now, I don't have. That's what you always say. Look, I'm tired of all that excuse from you. I'm not giving you excuses. I'm telling you what I have and don't have. It's your duty, love, to provide for the home. And I'm trying my best to provide for the home, Sarah. No, your best is not enough. It's not. What do you want that I have not tried my best to give you? I'm asking you for money now. Have you given it to me? Because I don't have today. What do you want me to do? Find it and give it to me. You're the man of the house. Man up and stand up to your position. Sarah. Yes, what else makes you a man if you don't have money in your pocket? <laughs> Kate, hope you are fine. Yes, ma. I'm fine. Thank you for all you are doing for me. Mommy, daddy, I'm back. My baby is back home. So it's only your mommy can greet. No, daddy, you know I'm coming to you also. I missed you so much. I miss you too, my dear. Kate, take Christine to the room. Yes, ma. Baby girl, you should have told me you were coming. I would have come to pick you from the park. I wanted to surprise you both and I'm glad I did because you two look so happy. If I had told you, you would have been stressed and I didn't want that. Leave us to stress. That's why we are your parents. If we don't stress for you, who else do you expect to stress for? Okay, don't worry. Next time I will stress you. Mommy, what did you cook? I'm hungry. This is the reason why you should have told me and your daddy that you're coming so we can prepare for you. So you did not cook? I will give you your father's food. After all, you are his daughter. Yes, give her my food and cook later for me. Daddy, you are the best. I love you so much. Sarah, is there anything in this house that I have not given all the necessary things you need that I did not provide? Till, give me more money. And I don't have. I have told you that. I don't have. Then go and do more and have more money. Why won't you have? Look, I don't stretch myself beyond what I have. I don't care. Go and borrow and give it to me. Who asked you not to stretch? Look, Sarah, I'm okay with my finances. I don't want to borrow and I will not involve myself in anything that won't give me peace. You better go and get involved because if you don't, I will not give you peace. So you should choose the kind of peace that you need. Sarah, it's too early in the morning for this drama. I don't need it. Baby, if you don't need it, go out there and bring me money. It's as simple as that. How can you say you don't have money? You're saying it and you're not ashamed of yourself. Why should I be ashamed? I'm not trying to please anyone. I'm living my life comfortably. Baby, all these ones you're saying are just stories. I don't want to hear it. All I want to hear is you have sent the money I asked for. Period. I'm done with this conversation. I'm out of here. You can leave. All that matters is you bring money back to this house. Don't come back empty-handed because if you do, you're going to have an issue. Baby, um, I need you to give me some money. Don't even ask me that, Emily. I don't want to hear it. You didn't even ask me what the money is for. All you are saying is, I shouldn't ask you for money. Yes, don't ask me. I know you are looking for money to buy that trending clothes with your friends. Yes, baby, and there is nothing bad in the clothes. It's what is trending now. Emily, I'm tired of you and this attitude of yours. What's wrong with you? Baby, please now. We are here trying to manage our lives, and you are out there setting standards that you can't meet up with. So you are saying your wife should drop out from her group of friends? Tell them you don't have money, and if it's a must you buy the clothes, ask them to buy something cheaper. 
God forbid. How will I wear something cheap? Me, a Millie King, wear something cheap. Must you cut your clothes above what you can afford? Babe, must you do that? Look, babe, just help me with the money. All you are saying is not going into my ears. What about the plan of us doing better and coming out of this situation? You are the man of the house. It's your duty to do that. Honestly, you're making me tired. I won't like what I'm planning in my mind to do. Why is he not picking my calls? What's wrong with him? Doesn't he know that I'll be unhappy? We haven't spoken for a week now and doesn't even care about that. He should have forgiven me by now. I actually did nothing wrong. He's the annoying one and I'm trying my best to show that but he keeps looking another direction. He's not even paying attention to me. He's always having one thing or the other to do. Maybe that's why he walked out. At least he should pick the call so I can tell him I'm sorry. Then there can be peace and we can do things like we used to. I miss him so much. All my friends are happy and I'm here all by myself. He doesn't even care about what's happening and he's just angry all the time over things that doesn't even matter at all. Jordan, please cop my call. Just say something to me so that I'll be okay. I'm so worried about you. Thanks for taking my things inside. It's nothing. So how was school and everything? Fine. I'm sorry I'm using your room. As you said I could stay here and that we could share everything together. Hmm. About that, my mom can't make decisions regarding my room. So this is what I want. You stay away from me. Why do I need to stay away from you? I thought we were going to be good friends. Friends? You and who? Me and you. I've been looking forward to you coming back home. I will make it very simple and clear to you. You and I can never be friends and we will never be friends. Did you get me? But why? Look, in this house, everyone should be on their own. I don't want you around me or using my things and we can't even share a bed. If we can't share a bed, then where do you want me to sleep? I don't care. You can sleep on the ground or better still go back to your house. But I don't have an issue with you staying here. Just keep your lane and I will keep mine. Look at this girl. How do you expect that we will be friends? Then let's be sisters. Jesus, don't you hear the words? Are you there for what? I'm not even supposed to be talking to you. I should go and talk to mom. Wow, that's something else. Let me not go and cause problems for myself. Since she said we can't be friends and she wants to be alone, I will let her be alone. What's wrong? You look like you want to cry. It's King. He's just annoying. King, you and Hobby having issues? Yes, Rachel. He's annoying. Do you know he did not come home? That's why you're angry or what? Why wouldn't I be angry? How can he not come home? I was talking to him about something and the next thing he left the house just like that. See, this is one of the million reasons I don't want to get married. I don't want all this stress on men. Hmm. Don't say that. How can you not want a man in your life? Me? A man? No, God forbid. They are very annoying most of the time. Yes, and that's why I'm still single and not going to stress my life over a man. Look at how unhappy you are right now because of a man. Hmm. Yes, I'm very sure you have cried this morning. Let's get something to eat. I don't like all this drama. I don't even want to think about it. Mom, I don't like all of this. What's wrong? Why are you angry? Look, mom, I have no issue with Kate staying with us. What I have an issue with is the fact that she's in my space. In your space? You two are just sharing a bed, that's all. I don't want that, mom. I want everyone to be on their own. She should go away and I go my way, that's all. Queen, if your father hears this, he won't be happy with me. Then talk to her to be on her own and not to use my things. I will not use her things. What could she possibly have that I need? Alright, I will talk to her not to use your things and be on her own since that's what you want. I don't know why you told her she could stay in my room in the first place. You could have just told her to stay in Shelly's room. There is nothing wrong with her staying with you, Queen. And like you said, I will talk to her to stay off your things. Is that fine? Mom, that's fine. Tell her that. Hey babes. What took so long? I'm sorry, I just get held up with something. Ibuka sent me money and he didn't come in on time. Oh, okay. When are we going to get our clothes now? When we are ready. And I was thinking of something else. What is that? Let's go on vacation and have lots of fun. I'm up for anything you ladies agree on. When do you want us to go on the vacation? Very soon. My hobby already sent me money and I can't wait for us to go on vacation.
Likewise, let's go have some fun. The vacation idea isn't bad. I will tell my baby about it. You know, Rachel, you don't have boots to tell about it. Yes, and that's the best because if it were up to me, I would say we should go shopping today and leave tomorrow morning. Just like that. But where are we going to go? Paris or Tokyo? All fine by me. Let's go have some fun, ladies. Ma, is there anything else you need? No, Kate. You can return to the living room and also arrange the plates so I can dish the food. Yes, ma'am. Um, Kate. Ma? What happens between you and Queen? Me and her are fine, nothing, ma'am. I don't want you and Queen having issues in the house. I did nothing, ma'am. I did not say that you did. I'm only telling you that I don't want fight or issues of any kind. She only said I should not sleep on her bed and we should stay out of each other's space and I should not come close to her things. She don't use her things unless she asks you to and don't touch what is not yours. Yes ma, I understand. I will do all she wants and how she wants them. Good. She says she doesn't want you to touch her things. So do well not to touch her things. Yes ma, I won't touch her things. Good. I have a peaceful home and I want it to remain that way. Have I made myself clear? Yes, ma'am, I understand you. Daddy, are you busy? Not really, my love. What do you need? Money. You're back home. What do you need money for, my dear? Daddy, you don't need to start asking me what I need money for. Just give me the money and I'll go my way. you this girl. Okay, don't worry. I will send something to you. Thank you, sir. Just send it now because I know that you may just forget all about it. Queen, does the mother know you are asking me for this money? Or was she the one that advised you to ask me? Daddy, just give me the money. If I want something, can't I ask you again? Yes, you can ask me and I can ask you questions too. Hmm, no daddy, she doesn't know and don't tell her. How do you love that fact that Ken is in your room? I don't have an issue as long as she doesn't have one with me. Try your best and be very, very nice to her, okay? She's going through a lot and there's nothing bad if you stand beside her as a friend, family and sister. She's not my sister, dad. I know. I'm just saying that you should be nice to her and don't give her a hard time. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, daddy. Send the money to me now. I'll be nice to her. You have nothing to worry about. The lost boat found. Dad, what's up? How are things? I'm fine. Where did you go? To rest myself. You just chose to go rest yourself like that. You didn't even think of us. It's not nice. Don't you know once in a while one need to just go and rest their head and not think about anything? Okay. Are you sure that you are okay? I'm fine. I just needed some space to deal with some stuff and look fresh again. <laughs> it's good to have you back, bro. I'm very, very happy to have you around again. King, King. That's me. You are calling. What did you bring back for me now? I brought myself back. Just look, I have been gone for days and now I'm back to lots of work. I don't even know how I'm going to be able to deal with all of this. Next time, don't just run away like that. Guy, just give me like five minutes. Let me finish what I'm doing so I can give you my full attention. Okay, sorry. Hi everyone, I'm back. Hi, welcome back. Where is everyone? Mom is in her room. Dad is out and I think Queen is also out. Oh, I see. Not the kind of welcome I was expecting. You also didn't tell them that you are coming back home then. Should have been a surprise. The surprise is ruined. I'm still surprised to see you. Welcome back home. Good to have you back. Sorry, where are you? And why are you here? I'm Kate and I stay here now. You stay here. I knew it was your voice I heard. My darling is back home. Mommy, where is everyone? I was thinking I would get a loud welcome party. Look at your mouth. You wanted to surprise us like Queen. You should have called. I'm very sure your dad wouldn't have gone out. Okay, mommy. Kate, take our things to our room for her and be careful not to break anything. Okay, mom. Where is she? No man, why is she here? It's your dad. It's one of the family people you brought home. She just lost her parents and he thought she should come stay here with us. Okay, I'm so sorry for her, mom. It's not easy to lose one's parents. Pretty bad to lose you. She won't lose me, dear. I will always be here for you all. How will I pay the money for that clothes? The cost is so high. I am not sure I can afford it. Even the sales I have made for two months can't cover it. What came to the mind of those two suggesting we buy that clothes? I don't even know who to ask or borrow money from that will lend it to me. 
yeah i am thinking about clothes next i have to think about the money we need for vacation how will i able to do all of this without exposing my secrets if not because king is so lazy i can't even bring home anything tangible i wouldn't be in this mess i can't be the laughing stock among my friends i have to find a way to fund all these costs the clothes first and then the journey it's so hard but i have to keep up with the standard you don't look so happy what's wrong bro a lot of things are wrong so what do you want from me that you should tell me just start from anywhere don't worry i'll try to understand nothing is going well for me and my wife i don't even know that doesn't sound difficult so what do you really want from me i need some money man like how much do you need any amount you give me is okay i just need something to take care of me and my family things haven't been going well okay i know you also have your own things to do but i promise that i'll return the money to you i heard you i'll see what i can do about it thank you so much you don't have to thank me what are friends for if we can't help each other you are right so just take calm. Look, if you get angry, if it is nothing, all we can hope is for something good to come our way soon. Emily, good to see you. How are things? I'm fine. It's so good to see you too. But what's wrong? You don't look happy. Nothing is wrong with me. I am fine. Emily, we have been friends for a while. And I know when you're lying and when you're telling the truth. I am okay. Nothing is wrong. King loves you so much. You know that, right? Did you come here to check on me or to talk about King? I came to do both. Hmm. Look, King is doing his best to provide all that you need. Did he tell you that he didn't come home? And I have been calling him but he isn't picking up my calls. I'm sorry on his behalf. He was so sorry yesterday and he was also confused. He can't be confused about things like this. You should tell him that. I already did. Don't worry. Everything will be fine soon. And he'll be able to provide all that you need. So he came to report me to you. Are you getting angry now? Are you saying, Emily, that I can't talk to you anymore? I did not say that. I am just surprised. That is all. But I understand all that you have said to me, Ebuka. I did not mean to make you feel bad. I just wanted to help. What are you doing here? Babe, what's wrong with you? Me? Do I look sick or does it look like something is wrong with me to you? That's not what I'm saying. I've been calling and you haven't been picking up my calls. Why would you be calling me, Rachel? What do you want to say? A lot of things, baby. You just left like that. Are you not worried that I will be worried? Are you not worried about how I'll be feeling? I don't care. I don't want to talk to you. You should know I'm busy. You can come back another time. It's me, Jordan. You are sending me out to come back another time? Yes, because I don't want to talk to you. You're just stressing me out. What's your issue? I did not pick your call. You should know I'm busy. Jordan, it's me, Rachel. So what if it's you? Should I now roll on the ground? You're just a stress to my life. I don't know what to do. Please just leave me alone. You're just a rude, stupid, annoying boy who has no respect. And you're just someone seeking my attention, maybe because I have money. You're stupid for saying those words to me, Jordan. If I'm stupid, then you must be very much stupid for talking to me or having something to do with me, Rachel. Can't you see you are more stupid and also foolish? I can't stay here anymore. You're so annoying. I don't know what her stress is. It's just too much. She's just stressing me out. I miss you both so much. I see Shelly, Queen, Uncle and Auntie happy. And all I long for is you two. I wish you were both here to be with me. I'm very sure they would want you to be happy. Hi Shelly. I thought you should be in your room resting. I'm sorry about what happened to them. They were wonderful people and I'm very sure they would want you happy. That's true. Thank you so much. Hope you're not stressed. I'm stressed but talking to you make it go away. <laughs> so how is school and all the annoying lectures? I almost gave up. I only knew I didn't have a choice. That is going to kill me. God, school is stressful. I can't even imagine. But lucky you, you'll be fine soon. Yes, I will. Look, stop crying. I knew I didn't to miss them. It's normal. But we are here for you. We are family even if not by blood. But you stay here now. Many we are families. Thank you, Shelly. You're so sweet. What kind of life is this? How can everyone be happy? Sarah has a husband who loves her and gives her everything she needs. Emily's husband loves her even if she's not happy with him and that's because she's not content. But here I am, running after Jordan and he's still not interested in me. It's so annoying. He kicked me out of his office after refusing to pick up my calls for a week. He went off to God knows where and now he's not even sorry. It's just so annoying and rude. Sarah. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm fine. Nothing is wrong with me. 
did you and jordan have an issue we kind of did but it's okay i'll be fine oh my god he broke up with you jeez no he didn't i did not say that i only said we had a fight that's all oh okay i thought you guys ended things why are you sad and unhappy i'm fine i'm just being dramatic you know time he will call me and start begging and telling me how much he loves me oh you love best to get married and let us rest we will so why are you here i thought you just left or do you miss me so much no i don't miss you girlfriend i'm only here because i left something behind what did you leave behind that i didn't see how will you notice i left something behind when you're here sobbing over love huh my love how are the girls they are all gone looks like sherry and kate are settling in better what about queen i hope she's not giving kate a hard time you know she's just like you doesn't trust and welcome people easily she takes after me i won't lie about that I wanted to talk to you about Kate. We can't leave her alone here at home. She will resume soon and she has to go back. Go back to where? That expensive school her parents put her in? Yes. And who will foot the bills? Her parents are no longer alive to pay for her school. It's too expensive. Yes, I know the school fee is very expensive. It's a good thing you know because our children's school fees are already taking a lot. How much more a child that is not ours? Baby, don't say that. There is nothing wrong with what I'm saying. I'm saying the truth now. But not all of it is true. Her school fee and Queen's fee are almost the same amount. So you are saying you want to pay for her? Where are you coming from? Out. Out. King, you left last night and you are just coming back now. And the only excuse you can give me is out. Yes, Emily. I'm not good enough. So I have to go out and look for money. Isn't that the only thing you understand? So you can keep up with your expensive lifestyle and your show off. That is not an excuse for you not to come home. Do you know how worried I was about you? Do you know how many times I called you? Stop being dramatic. You know my strengths. Yet, you demand and do things that I can't afford. Still not a reason for you not to come home and also go around talking about me and painting me as an evil wife. Hmm. What is with going around talking about you? Talk about us. Are you going to act daft or what, King? How could you go and talk about me, your wife, to Ebuka? I did not talk about you. I was at the bar and we talked. I told him what was bothering me, that's all. And what were you expecting when you told him? Don't you know he was going to come to me and try to advise me? Was that not your long-term aim? Emily, you have a big issue and I don't have the time for this. You are trying to ruin our marriage. You brought in a third party into our affairs. Why are you calling me? Where are you? I'm home. What's wrong? You sent me out of your office. Yes, I did. And I'm calling you now. Why? If you keep acting and talking to me this way, I'll end the call. You should be happy I'm calling you. I'm sorry. You don't have to end the call. I'm just surprised you are calling me back after you sent me out. It's my choice. I do what I like when I like it. You don't tell me what to do. I'll tell you what I want. Calling me alone has made me very happy. I have forgiven you. I didn't call to say I was sorry. You don't need to say it. I don't even want to hear it. Come over. I'm waiting for you. Really, baby? You're waiting for me? Yes, I'm waiting for you. You better be fast. I can't wait for you forever. I will. I miss you so much. Baby, don't need to get angry. What would you suggest as the alternative? I would suggest that you transfer her. That school is too expensive. We can take her to Shelley's school then. It's not so far. Is she your daughter that you want to waste such money? Look, just transfer her to a state university here. Why will you be spending my money on her going to a private university? Do you think moving her to a state university is not far enough? It's the best. It won't cost you anything. Did her father leave money somewhere that can be used to finish paying her school fee? I just want her to have a good education, that's all. She will also get one year. We don't have that kind of money to waste. And it's better than dropping out of school. Babe, she won't drop out. We want to help. Let's help well. I'm not saying she's dropping out. I'm just saying that it's best we transfer her. Because sooner or later, she will drop out if she can't pay the school fee, dear. Okay, let's call her and hear what she feels about it. Are we asking permission or what? Just call her and inform her that she will have to transfer because you can't pay her school fee in the expensive school her parents put her in. Okay, I'll tell her about it, but she should have a choice. The only choice she has now is to accept or drop out and help in the shop. Babe, I don't like what you're saying and now you're asking. It's not fair. The girl wouldn't be here with us in the first place if not for what happened to her parents. 
what i'm saying is she has two choices forget it let's not talk about it just call her and let her come here so that they gave you money to go to market they went to and bought things for yourself you couldn't get anything from me a bit why would i do that it was me he gave the money to and even if i got something for you why would i want to get anything for kate that's aside queen when am i going to meet your man or don't you have one trust me i have one i'm planning on having more than one so i don't get old i will have lots of stocks as observers you're not serious what's it before is serious one how will you know he's serious when we have like four of them from his action i will know he's serious if he finds out what he did do you think he wants to stay with you again don't worry, they will never find out. I'm very good with my moves. Men will always find a way to know. I'm very sure about it. Kate, am I lying? No, Shelly, you're not lying. My advice is to get one and stick to him. Love and relationships are built on trust. Thanks for the advice, but no one was talking to you. I was talking to my sister here. Queen. Yes, it's me and you that's having a conversation. Why should she join? I'm sorry, Queen, for chipping into your conversation. I'll just continue with what I'm doing. Better mind your business. I already told you I don't want you in my space. Ebuka, if you don't slap me, there will be no peace for you. Sarah, I'm done. What? You heard me loud and clear. I'm done with you. It's over between us. You can't be done. I'm waiting for you to talk. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you. I thought you said I was stupid and rude. No, you're not stupid. I'm the one who is stupid, not you, love. Hmm. How so? Baby, we don't need to talk about how. All I want from you is your forgiveness. Please, love, forgive me. I'll think about it. Please, love, forgive me. Without you, I'm nothing. Without you by my side, I'm not myself. You said you can do without me, Rachel. Yes, and I did all of that out of anger and pain. It's not something I meant. You know I was angry, that's why. But why were you angry? Like, what you are doing now is what gets me angry. Tell this lady to leave. You're talking to me. Forget the lady here. If you want her to leave, then you should be ready to leave also. Baby, don't send me away from your side this time. I can't stand it anymore. Okay, I'll think about it. Baby, please. I love you so much. What took you so long? I'm sorry, ma. I went to check what I was cooking in the kitchen before coming. That's why. What are Shelly and Queen doing that they can't watch the food? Honey, what are you saying? Don't you know today is Kate's day in the kitchen? So why should they watch over her duty for her? Okay, I didn't know. I'm just making sure that they are all doing tax in the house. They will soon get married and go away someday. They need to learn how to manage and maintain the household. You are not lying, my love. And today is Kate's duty, so it's okay. Your uncle called you because he wanted to discuss something with you. Okay. Are you done with all the things that you need to do? So, I'm not the reason we will eat burnt food today. Yes, uncle, I'm done with everything. Okay, Kate, sit down. Let us talk. The reason I called you here is about your school. I don't want to stay in at home. I want you to go back to school. What has happened has happened. I need to move on with your life. I understand, sir. Good. Second, we are transferring you from your current school to a cheaper school here in town. Okay, sir. You should be happy. Why are you giving an unhappy face? You know we also have our kids to take care of. And your current school is very, very expensive. Even the school Queen and Shelley attend is not up to that. Yes, ma. Yes. And it's not like your father left some money behind that can be used to take care of you or anything related to your education. I have no idea if anything like that exists. See, so we have to do something to help you. And at the same time, it should not cost us too much that it will affect us from getting what we need. We have talked about it very well. And this is the best thing for us to do, okay? You won't start packing or what? What I do is my business. And I mean it when I say to you that I'm done. I don't want anything to do with you again. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Yes, I'm done. I'm not coming back on my words. You know you can't do anything without me in this house. Yes, I accept that I can't do anything without you. But I will not give you access to anything. All these things you're just saying, they're empty threads. You think I'm worried or scared because you said you're done with me? Hmm. It's the truth. If not for me, wouldn't you be on the streets begging for food morning and night? I will never beg, Sarah. I know God will never leave me alone or put me at your mercy again. Nothing like that. You're not going anywhere, Ebuka. What has gotten into you? Nothing, but I know that you're not going anywhere. You think you're doing all of that to freak me out? 
you think i'll beg you all this ones you're doing is strategy and i know what you're planning you think i'm going to beg you but i promise you that you'll come back to me to beg and i might not even consider taking you back men i pity them he's here doing nonsense and doing what he wants and feels like doing <laughs> You did not even check. What's funny, baby? Why are you laughing this loud? Because you said you love me. Yes, it's the truth. I love you so much, Jordan. If you love me like you said, then I want you to prove it to me that you actually love me. Okay, what do you want me to do to show that I love Jordan? I have something you will have to do if you want me to believe that you mean it. Name it and I will do it for you so you know that I love you so much. Oh, really? You want me to name it and you're going to do it? Yes, Jordan, I will do anything to prove my depth of love for you, and I will do anything to show that I love you. <laughs> I love the way this is going, so you will do it. You don't even know what I'm going to ask of you yet. I will do it, just name it. Okay, fine. Since you say you're going to do it, I will tell you. You see this beautiful lady sitting on my lap right now, in front of you? Yes, I can see her. What do you want me to do to her? Kiss her feet. What? You can't do it. I knew it. How can you ask me to kiss the feet of this lady? Jordan, what kind of a joke is this? How would you ask me to do such a thing? To prove that you love me, you're just saying it. Leave, I don't want to see you. Go away. What are you waiting for? Leave my side this minute. I don't have time to waste. I have better things to do with my time. Stop, that wasn't hard. I believe you now. You can go now. Hi, Iwoka. How are you? I'm fine, Anil. You. you sound a bit unhappy. What's wrong? I miss your face. That's why. Where are you right now? I'm at your place and the door is locked. I lost my parent, Devoka. I'm no longer there. I'm sorry about that. When did it happen? Some weeks back. Put yourself together and stop crying. Kate, everything will be fine and you'll be fine too. It's hard, Evoka. I just wish I could wake up and realize it's all just a dream that they are not really dead. I understand that feeling, but don't worry, you'll get over it. How are you now? I'm at my uncle's place and I must admit they are taking care of me very well. Things are okay here. Okay, I'm coming to see you. I have to see this pretty face of yours today. Baby, how do I look? You look good. Where are you going? I'm going out with you. Oh, have you forgotten that the outing with your friends is today? Yes, I remember and I am almost ready for it. I thought it was more of the dates, and everyone is coming with their partner. Yes, they are, but you are not coming with me. Why can't I come with you? I'm your partner, or are you bringing another? After the kind of embarrassment you have given me, you now want us to go there. Fine, I didn't buy the dress, but the one you are wearing is also very good and beautiful on you. Just hear yourself. My friends and their husband will be there, and all the ladies will be in the same dress. Won't I be ashamed? No, I'm not ashamed, because I'm beside you to support you. Since you don't want me there, I will leave. I didn't know you loved me this much. And that's why you wanted me to kiss the feet of one of your lovers, Jordan. You have nothing to worry about. She's not my woman. She's not? And they expect me to believe that. You always do what you want, but I can't do what I want. I was here missing you while you went off to do whatever you wanted. Yes, I was angry with you, but never cheated on you. Really? I already told you that she's not my woman. I just paid her to play that role for me. Wow, you paid her just to sit on your lap and watch me. Something like that. And you can see that it was fun, wasn't it? No, it was not fun. You shouldn't be playing with my emotions this way. It's not cool, Jordan. I'm sorry, I sent you some money. You need to take care of yourself and stop acting jealous. It was just all a game. Thanks for the money. I love you so much. I love you too. I need you to prove that. I have nothing to prove. I already sent you money. That's my way of proving my love. Money is not love, Jordan, baby. It is because I can never give a woman I don't love that kind of amount. Do you know how hard I work to make that money? Stop crying, dear. Everything will be fine, okay? I don't want them to go. They didn't have to leave me here alone. Death is something that's meant to happen sooner or later, dear. I just want you to know that everything will be okay. Just believe that. Thanks for coming around. It means so much. I didn't know, and I'm sorry I haven't called earlier. If I had, I would have known about it. It's okay. So, how have you been? I'm fine. How are your uncle and aunt treating you here? They are trying their best to make me feel comfortable. It's starting to feel like home, even though it's not home, but it's okay. Don't worry. It will pass away soon. Once you're done with school, you can get somewhere for yourself and stay alone. Yes, I know that, but they haven't given me a reason to consider that. The wife is cool. Likewise, her children, but won't act weird. 
Just go easy on her. That's what I'm doing. She said she doesn't want me in her space. And I let her be. But I and the other sister actually are very close. So, are you open to telling her who I am? What did you bring for me? Don't even say that you came empty and dead. Yes, I only brought myself for you. Later, you will say that you miss me. Why is crystal clear that you didn't miss me? Are you trying to say that buying a gift means I miss you, Kate? Something like that. Don't mind me. I'm just pulling your legs. Mom, Kate is outside talking to a man. What? She's talking to a man under my roof. Honey, can you see that girl? And so what if she's talking to a man, honey? She's not a child. She's grown up. No. I will not allow that nonsense in my house. She could be doing it where she's coming from. But as long as she's under this roof, she can't try that nonsense. Who did she tell that she was going outside? Babe. Yes. Who did she tell? I will not allow this, darling. That's how she will be going out to see different men until she gets pregnant. And then they will say we did not watch over her way well because she's not our daughter. She's a girl. Who in here? Who came to tell us? Ask her if she doesn't talk to men too. They are the age to mingle. If they don't do that, how do you expect them to get married? I said no, darling. You should be supporting me and trying to encourage her that what she did is bad. And it is bad. Darling, it is not. So what will I tell them now if they ask about Ibuka? What will I say happen to him? Ibuka, what could have happened to you? Ibuka, what was the best thing that could happen to you that would fit in this hour story? Why weren't you able to follow me? I can't say the truth. Why is my brain failing me now that I need it? Why? Come on, brain. Why am I not coming up with any ideas? Come on, brain. Let's do this together. Don't leave me now when I need you the most. Don't do that. Okay. Should I say that he was in an accident? No, 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 no. That seems bad. That's so bad. But it's a compelling story. It would evoke emotion and I might even shed a tear. Wait. What if they decide to follow me to the hospital? That would be another story altogether. I can't risk being caught as a liar. What should I say? Should I say he had severe diarrhea? Is that the perfect excuse? No. That will stain my image. That's so gross. Ew. Why did I even think of that? Come on, brain. Let's figure this out before they come. So the story will come out fluently. I actually wanted to get you something, but I thought you wouldn't feel comfortable going into the house with things in your hands. So you did think about me? Yes, I did. Thank you. And we can just go out and get something for you now. We will be back in a few seconds. No, it's cool. They wouldn't even notice that you were never here. You know how fast I drive. <laughs> I still remember that. If I got into a car with you now, I wouldn't let you drive. You are scared. I don't like risk. So, how is school now? Your uncle seems wealthy. I'm sure he will continue paying the fees. Um, yes. You sounded reluctant. What's the issue? They are transferring me to a state university. Oh, that's bad. Why? The school fees are so high, and I don't blame them because they don't owe me anything. But you guys are family. And they are doing their best. I'm eating for free and still going to school. True, they are trying, but I'm not happy about it. If I had the money, I would have sponsored you until you finished. It's fine. Our future isn't determined by the type of school we go to. I don't know how you are so calm about this whole thing. Because I know my choices are limited. These are not my parents. I'll talk to your aunt. Why? For your schooling, because I know she can talk to your uncle and put you in the right school. Don't do that. I'm not complaining. I'm okay with the school. No, I must talk to her. Are you even listening to me at all, Libuka? This is my life. Allow me to make my choice. You did not make this choice by yourself. Yes, but I accepted it, so don't do anything. God, why are you like this? Don't say anything, Ibuka. Alright, if you say so. Yes, I say so, and I'm serious. King. Hello, Sarah, you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Here is Emily. She'll be here very soon. Oh, I feel jealous. Why do you feel jealous? Well, my baby couldn't make it. Oh, why is that? He had an urgent business call, so he had to take it and here I am alone. That's not so bad. It isn't, right? Yes, it's for a good cause. I can't believe he chose business over me. Don't see it that way. He's just busy and more engaged than us all. Hmm, that's true. But not everyone will see it that way. Even if they don't, who cares? I like your mentality. Emily is lucky. She is indeed. Today is all about fun. In a few seconds, nobody will even remember that he isn't here. You're very correct. You know you are mine, right? No, you're mine, Rachel. It's the same thing. It's not. You belong to me. Yes, baby, I'm all yours. You're all mine. 
Yes. Are you all mine? I'm all yours. Yes, do you belong to me? I don't. You belong to me, but I don't belong to you. I'm coming. <laughs> Jordan and I are meant to be forever. I don't think I can ever leave him. We are meant for each other. Who was that? Don't ask me such questions. And by the way, I'm leaving. I don't want you to leave. I have to. It's a bit important. You know I won't leave such a pleasure for anything. I will miss you. I know you will. Will you miss me too? I don't know. You don't know? I will for sure. Make sure you come back early. I'll wait for you. All right, love. Hey, hey. Where are you coming from? From outside, ma. Doing what? Talking to my friend. So, Shelly and Queen are not enough for you as friends? He just... Don't you dare talk back. I'm sorry, ma. Hmm. Listen, I don't want us to have issues. Just continue to be the good girl you've always been. I don't want you meeting with guys. You are under our care now, and there are rules you need to follow. You just wanted to tell me sorry about my parents. Kate, it seems like you are not hearing me. There is no excuse for you to see a guy. None at all. Am I clear? Yes, ma. Wait. Yes, ma. Did he give you any money? No, ma. Are you sure? Yes, ma. I'm sure. I'm going to search you. What? So, I want to ask you this question because it seems like you are very smart. Stop the flattery. It's not flattery. You are. Thank you. So, why are men always proud and pompous? Always. Yes. Men are not always proud, but we always move with our pride. It's inherent in us. So, your pride is in you now? Yes, even women have their pride. Men are just more loud in showing theirs because we don't like to be dominated. Especially by women? Yes. You guys are just... I don't know. <laughs> why did you ask me such a question? Nothing. I just want to know why men don't like to swallow their pride. They do, but for some people, they love and respect. Mm. King is annoying. Why should I not wear the clothes we are supposed to wear? Now only I will be different because he did not give me the money I need. This one that he has gone before me, he should not go and tell them that it's because he doesn't have money that I didn't wear the clothes. Let me better call Jim. After the call, King. What is he doing now that he cannot speak my call? He has started talking and running his mouth. Now he cannot see that I called. He's just annoying. He better not mention something that does not make sense because I swear I won't forgive him. He should not mention that it's because he doesn't have money that I don't have the dress. There should be a better excuse in case they ask why I didn't wear the dress. Well, we had issues with our bank and our account was frozen. We don't have cash and that was why we couldn't get the dress. I told my baby to get the clothes but he didn't do it on time. Wow, Emily, that is nice idea. That is the perfect excuse. So you know it. Everyone will have forgotten what I said. I'll just make sure I don't snap pictures for future purposes so they don't remember. That excuse is just the best. Let me quickly move and meet King before he destroys my life. Yes, I'm going to search you. But I just told you that I didn't collect money from Jim. And I should just believe you because you are my daughter. Do I know you before? What is going on here? This niece of yours. I don't trust her. What did she do? She may have collected money from that man. Did you collect money from me? No. She said no. Why are you troubling her? And why should I just believe her? Because she said so. I don't believe her. When I open all her clothes, we will see the money there. No, you won't do that. Please go inside, kids. Thank you, sir. Why would you make it look like I'm the one that is wicked? Why? Babe, I didn't know you have so much trouble like this. Please let me go and rest. So it's me that has issues now, right? It's all good. I've said mine. Ebuka, my G. How far now? I'm fine, bro. And you? I'm good. Why is your face looking dull? Don't tell me you came to the bar to sorrow up. Not really. Better, because real men come to the bar to have fun, not to sorrow up. And I know that you're a real man. Thank you. So, what's happening? What did I miss? Nothing much. I was just talking to King. I see. Is that why he didn't speak my calls? Oh, you called? Yes, I did.
I'm very sorry, everyone, for coming late. My apologies. Apologies declined. I've been waiting for you all since forever. I'm sorry, don't be annoyed. And Emily, you look beautiful in that dress. Yes, but that's not what we are supposed to wear. You won't blame me. Our bank account was frozen and we didn't have any cash. So I just had to get anything. And Sarah, where is the booker? Oh, he had a business meeting, so he couldn't make it. And Rachel, you? My baby was busy. We all had one issue or another. But you can't stop us from having fun, can it? Never. Okay. So, Rebuka, you won't believe this investment opportunity I came across. It's practically a guaranteed win. Okay. You won't ask about it. What's the catch? I thought you wouldn't act like you're not interested. It's an investment now. Anything that will give me money, I'm interested in it. It's all about this new tech startup. They've developed this groundbreaking AI software that predicts the market trends with incredible accuracy. AI software? Isn't it AI that is trending everywhere? Yes, exactly. It's all reliable stuff, and they are looking for investors. All this tech stuff, to invest in them, it must be in one high and big amount of money like that. Who told you it's big? It's not high. That's what people used to think when they say buy shares or invest in all these things. They think it's high, but it's quite cheap. But how do you know it's legit? I've done my homework. They have a lot of successful and established companies standing with them. But what about the risk? No investment is completely risk-free. Of course. There's only some risk, but the potential returns here are massive. Alright, let's say I'm interested. What's the minimum buy-in? I'll send you everything on your phone now so you can see all you need to do. If this goes south, you are giving me my money back. <laughs> Deal. Here's the smart investment and future profits. When it comes to business, your English just changes. <laughs> it's what I'm good at. That's how I make the money. And if this investment deal is not good for you, there are several others. Did you observe something odd about them? Yes, I did, but I just can't place it. It was all like Emily. She seemed all comfortable. Or maybe she's pregnant. That's very possible. Maybe he asked her to adopt the baby. Why would you say such a thing? I should meet him and talk to him. Yes, we should. Why would you ask her to adopt the baby? Does he think it's easy to have a child? We need to see him. Wait, but why don't we just assume him? Oh yes, it was just an assumption. That does not sound like it's real. That's because you want it to be real. Ha, <laughs> it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's not. There's really something odd about them. Yes, but it's not a baby. It might be. I thought you wouldn't come. I wish I didn't. I feel horrible. How? You didn't notice. I didn't. Oh God, and all of this is your fault. Why did you go? Because I know if I was there, you would end up coming too. Everything I felt today is your fault. Me? Yes, you didn't buy that dress for me. Look at how different I was. Didn't you feel embarrassed for me? There is no reason to be embarrassed. You are the only one feeling bad inside. That is why even when you did well, you saw yourself doing bad. Just leave me alone. They even complimented your dress. That was an insult, putting attention on me. I felt so embarrassed. I just had to swallow it up. You are so self-conscious and that's a problem. Please drive, let's go. You need to reduce the way you are so critical of yourself. You want to look better than all of them. You are competing with people who are not competing. And you are not even meeting up. You need to calm down. Please keep your advice to yourself and start the car. You won't listen. Start the car, King. Um, it's well. Hello, Kate. Hi. I'm sorry about how mom treated you, Ella. You were there? I was listening. Oh. Actually, I was peeping. I'm sorry. It's all good. She didn't do anything wrong. I'm the one at fault. Not entirely. I just want you to know that my mom is cool. She's loving and caring. The only reason she behaved that way is because she cares about you. Hmm. I'm serious. Why would she care if she sees you with a boy? It's because she sees you as a daughter too in this house. Thank you, Shelley. You are welcome. So don't be angry at mom. Sure, I won't. Thank you. Or oh, I should thank you rather. For? Talking to me. Before now, I was only in my thoughts. The fact that you came here helps me out of my thoughts. Oh, I'm glad. I could be of good influence. You are a nice person. If I were to ask for a sister, I would ask for you. Oh, uh -huh. thank you. Ebuka, baby, my love, 
Wait. He hasn't come back since he left. What is the meaning of this? Ebuka, so you left. You left me. You come back. It's not me and you. You come back to this house and beg me to receive you. And I'll show you what I'm made of. Just look at this boy. Someone I've been helping just like that. Someone that I fed, helped, clothed, and s stepped out of the house because of one slap. It's not a fool. There are some people that will beg me to be slapping them and be taking care of them. That's a sense. Wisdom. But this boy is just annoying and foolish. He chose to leave me because of his stupid pride. I know what to do. He will come back. I will count how many days he can survive without me. I slept in the parlor. Wait. I was waiting for Jordan. He didn't come back home yesterday. What happened? He didn't call either. Why is he behaving like this? He used to make me angry again and I don't like this kind of a thing. He will be the one. He didn't come back home yesterday. Where is home? Here. Yeah. <laughs> home is anywhere, baby. Guess what? What? Wow, is that for me? For us. Let's go for a vacation, my love. Are you for me? Yes. But if you don't want to go, I can find someone else. Why would I go? Um, is this someone else? Gerard, yeah, well, baby, why wouldn't want to go on a vacation with me? Babe, stop hurting me. I want to make you happy, not hurt you. And that's why we are going on this vacation. Who dropped this on my text this early? Letter of resignation? What? I know who is behind this. You've read it, right? You mean the sack letter? Of course. What else is there for you to read? <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. Don't mention my name again. I pity you. Don't, because you will need the pity for yourself. <laughs> what are you still doing here? What am I still doing here? Yes, or are you deaf? Didn't you read the letter? You've been sacked. You're not needed here anymore. Yes, I've heard. But I have to pack my things. You have nothing to call your things. Maybe it's even my money you used to buy the clothes you're wearing. Should I remove it for you? The clothes? What rubbish are you saying? I said leave the office now. Sarah. <laughs> I told you not to mention my name again. Damn. This guy is so funny. So this is the stupid thing you are doing here. Who told you this is stupid? Why won't you be poor? Why won't we be struggling when your mates are working and you are here watching film? Stop it. Don't say that. I'm working. How many times have you seen me watching movies? You are wasting your life and that is why we are so broke. We are broke because of your lifestyle. It's too expensive. That is life. King. A life of luxury. No. Yours is too much. The money we are supposed to invest, we end up using it to buy you expensive clothes and bags. You are just using your laziness as an excuse. The blame is on you. You are visually lazy and you don't have the idea and the brain to make money. Me? Yes. You are too relaxed. You are too comfortable and that is why you have time to watch films. Me, Emily. Yes, you. If you were comfortable, you would have made sure we are living to the highest level we can. Why can't you live a life of luxury? Those that are living the life, do they have two heads? You are not grateful. I am grateful, but you, King, are easily satisfied and I am not. You are not doing anything, Emily. You are just saying words, like you know how to do a thing. If you are not satisfied, why don't you satisfy yourself? Wow, that is what you said to me. I want to call King. Thank God I remembered. Why? Is he coming on vacation with us? I thought it was a me and you moment. And did I tell you we were going on a vacation with him? No. You've made me angry, Rachel. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I thought you wanted him to follow us. I don't know how you think. I want to give him some money. That's why I wanted to call him. Yes. He's kind of broke at the moment. Leave. Ebuka, leave. Listen carefully. What? You will regret this. Stupid boy. All you have is mouth. There is nothing you can do. Let me see how you survive without me now. Stupid boy, you cannot beg. You're telling me I'll regret it. You'll die of hunger and I'm counting how long it will take for you to survive without me. This is just day one. Jordan, you called me. Yes, I made an investment and the return is incredibly high. I'm considering where to invest or possibly save it. How much are we talking about? It's very high. I can't disclose the exact amount. Wow. 
So I was thinking of lending you some money because I know how intelligent and smart you are. That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. You're welcome. But then I thought, why lend my friend money when I can just give it to him? You want to give me money? Yes. I'll be sending you 500,000 naira to your account. Thank you. Why don't you seem happy? It's not that I'm not grateful, but... But what? I need a significant amount to establish myself. 500,000 naira is helpful, but it will take a lot more. Hmm. So how much do you need? Just consider the situation and let me know how much you can give me. I'll give you a substantial amount. I haven't determined the exact figure yet, but I'll give it to you via check. And you'll need to pay it back. Of course, but when? Within two years. You are the best, Jordan. Thank you so much. What is this? She doesn't know anything. How many carryovers? Ah, can this Kate go to school at all? Or does she not have a brain in her head? Kate, come here now. Mom. Do you have a brain? Excuse me, Mom. Yes. Do you have a brain? Or do you think I don't know what I'm saying? I have a brain, Mom. I'm not sure. Because look at your results. Carryovers. Do you want to carry the world on your head? It's not my fault, ma. Will you shut it? Your parents were just wasting money on you. Don't think I have money to waste on you. I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. I promise to do better. Better? Can't you see that going to school is a waste for you? I can't spend my money on you. I'd rather use it to buy clothes. You should think about learning a skill. Ma, a skill? Yes. Handwork, at least. You can speak English and pretend you are educated, even if you are dull. I'm sorry, ma. Leave here. Okay, ma. What can anyone be proud of in her? Zero knowledge. No wonder her parents put her in a private school just to push her through. If she was in a state university, <laughs> she would have been withdrawn by now. I won't waste my money on her. I'd rather eat ice cream than invest in a useless future. Who is that? Come inside. Hello? Look who came to visit me. I thought I would pay you a visit today. Thank you. I have a bottle of wine. Do you care for some? If you're living large, have a wine in your shop. What can we do when he keeps blessing us continuously? Are you sure God is blessing you guys? Yes, God is blessing King even more. How else am I getting blessed? Are you sure? Because I saw King borrowing money from Jordan. <laughs> he can't be serious. That is not possible. I'm telling you the truth. Should I call Jordan so you can hear? That would be necessary. I believe you. I feel bad, Emily. If things are not okay, why not speak out? Let's help you. I don't know why he did that. Maybe he needed business money. Jordan told me King was broke and that's why he used out of the money we're going to use for our vacation to give to King. And he didn't tell me he was broke. Maybe I could have helped him. You have money to help him. Yes, this morning I helped someone in drastic need. I don't want to mention the amount I gave her. I am feeling upset that he did such a thing without telling me. If you are going through any challenges, be free to tell us. We are friends. Please don't suffer in silence. Thank you. Did you say you wanted that drink? Yes, please. Alright, let me get it for you. What are you doing here again? Ma, I... I... Speak up. Which one is I? I... I want to go to school now. Which school? Even if it's the state university. I told you I can't waste my money on you. You are failing drastically. School is not for you. Please, ma. I can't clean your trade. Tailoring would suit you. You can help sew my clothes and your sister's. Ma, please. I promise. I won't fail. I will do better. You wasted your parents' money. And you think I'll give you the opportunity to waste mine? Ma, I will do well. Try me at least once. If I fail, you can do what you want. It's like you're not listening. I won't waste any money on your education. Just look at your transcripts. This is a failure. You should be glad I'm helping you discover your purpose in this queue. Ma, imagine it's your daughter's result. You wouldn't withdraw her from school because she failed. What did you say? My daughter? God forbid. You are getting on my nerves. Ma, please. Get out of my sight now and think of the skills you want to learn. None of my daughters could be as dumb as you. Ma, I'm begging you. I'm almost done. It's just a few years remaining. This is not a private school. You will end up being withdrawn with all the failures on your results. I swear, Ma, I won't fail. Your brain needs surgery. You are daft and dumb. Now, don't make me repeat myself. Leave this room now. Okay.